So what is quantum healing? I mean, ultimately, is all healing on the quantum level? What does this even have to do with the fundamental nature of reality as we know it? <laughs> What's up, Manifesting Fam? I'm Marta. Thank you for joining me. I approach uh, manifestation and mindset coaching from a scientific point of view to make sure that you're getting reliable information that can be repeated on a regular basis. Now, before we get into this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up so it can reach the people who need to hear it. Now, let's start with some very simple things. There are two ways of knowing your body. One is as we experience it right now. As you are experiencing it, as you're experiencing it by looking and touching, tasting, smelling, listening to my voice, this is the way we know other bodies. This is the way we know the material universe, by touching, tasting, smelling, hearing, and thinking. Now, of course, we do not know the fundamental basis of how this perception occurs because in our brains, all that happens is electrochemical reactions that correspond to every experience. So whether you're experiencing a mental event such as imagining a beautiful sunset on the ocean, or whether you're seeing a physical object, like a statue of an elephant, while that happens in your brain is electrochemistry. But you actually experience color and form and taste and smell, and a three-dimensional universe evolving in time. Nobody knows how that happens. It's called the hard problem of consciousness. Nevertheless, one way of experiencing the body is as a physical entity. This is solid. It's made up of flesh, which is muscle. It's made up of bone. It's made of skin, hair, sinews, tendons. You see there is a nose, eyes, ears, etc. So this is the physical body. But when you start to look at what this is made of, it becomes obvious that your physical body, whether it's muscle or bone or sinew or fat, is made of chemicals, biochemicals. And these chemicals are mostly carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and a few other things that come from the stars and galaxies. What are those molecules made up of? They're made up of atoms. What are the atoms made of? They're made of particles. And it's the same everywhere. All atoms have the same particles. The atoms of the periodic ta table have the same particles, electrons, protons, neutrons, and now gluons and quarks and so on. Doesn't matter, we're just getting them smaller and smaller things. So big things are made of little things. And little things are made of even littler things. And then when you get to the most fundamental level, these particles turn into waves. And waves are not made of things, they are made of probabilities. And where are they coming from? They're coming from a dimensionless, infinite, formless void. So everything in the universe ultimately is made out of nothing. The great Sufi poet Rumi said, becoming spinning out of nothingness, scattering stars like dust. Look at these words, spinning out of nothingness. This is you, okay? So fundamental reality is formless, and dimensionless, and we can say it is the fundamental nature of being. Anything that exists, anything, including the computer or the phone that you're watching this on, including your body, when we look at the world objectively, we end up with nothing. But we can also close our eyes, and we can experience our body as just sensations, intermittent sensations. They're happening somewhere. You know, here and there, I can touch it, I can see it subjectively, and I can feel it. So there's another way of experiencing the body, which is subjectively, which is sensations, images, feelings, thoughts. Where am I experiencing them? In my being? In my being, and where is that being? Well, it doesn't have a location because there's nothingness. It doesn't even exist in time. It is the formless void. So whether we look at the world objectively or whether we look at the world subjectively, our essential nature is that we are formless beings. And the essential nature of the universe, including our body, is that it is formless. And this is what is meant when dealing with quantum healing, that the formless being of the individual is what we call the soul. 
the spirit. The formless being of the cosmos is what we call consciousness or universal consciousness. But the ultimate ground of all experience is the same. So you and I are part of a formless cosmic being that has taken this name in this form. And how that formless being resonates is the image that we experience as the body and the universe. And what is quantum healing? It is learning to shift your consciousness so you can shift your biology. I know this was very controversial. It's created a lot of criticism. But now, we, you know, years and of experimentation later, we are seeing very clearly that states of consciousness determine states of biology. Anger, hostility, guilt, mistrust, jealousy have their own biology, as do love, compassion, joy, equanimity, empathy. They have a different biology. But what I mean by quantum healing is even beyond that. You know, when we go beyond all these states of consciousness and we end up with pure consciousness, well, that's the field of infinite possibilities, infinite creativity, infinite correlation. That's the field that's imbued with intention. And we ground ourselves in that being. You know, all happens spontaneously. There is no resistance. There's no anticipation in every moment that is spontaneous. Spontaneous creativity, spontaneous intelligence flowing out through the body, the mind, and the universe. And in that moment, you are supported by infinite energy, infinite power, infinite creativity. And you're actually one with, cos with the cosmic being. The word healing comes from the word whole. So all healing Here's the return of the memory of wholeness. And what is that wholeness? It is the universal consciousness of which the whole universe is a manifestation, including our own body, which is our mind, intellect, ego, and our physical body, which is the body of energy, information, matter. And this has been a really brief rundown. But, you know, we are having to revise how we look at the interplay of the physical body and the emotional body, the way that our consciousness slots into the universal consciousness as a whole. As we explore the deeper layers of reality, I hope that you are getting ready to accept your healing, accept your wholeness. I'm Marna, and thank you for joining me. Have a beautiful rest of your day.